And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And this is our bread today. Again, one more time. Second Corinthians chapter 8. And that was verse number 5. I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Wherever you are in our own world, planet Earth. God bless you. God bless you. God bless your grace, mercy, peace, and love from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be released upon us in the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The amazing grace of God is truly amazing it is amazing it is amazing and i might come back one more time and just say something more about the grace of god as is spoken of in verse number one of this chapter amazing but i want to focus on chapter five today and say a couple things so we are looking at the amazing grace of god and how it can transform lives and just it just it brings amazing change it's the amazing things that it does and how it is evident and was evident in the churches of macedonia notice churches and so it will be it's the same grace god has not changed it's available to us and and, and will do the same for us when we have that joy and when there's that willingness and when there is that right motive praise god but watch here now watch the action of the people they gave themselves to god now these are people who already accept jesus christ as lord and savior so what is it that paul is talking about they gave themselves they really surrendered themselves to god in a very unusual way and we need to ask ourselves what what is that level of giving of self and how can we attain unto that brethren it is important that we do that it is important that we can tell if that is how it is for us and how you can tell virgin is how you respond when your great afflictions come and how you respond in the adverse situation that you're having is there a joy there and so that is good these are going to be the, the indicators that joy that willingness and having the right move these at all times so that you never come to the place where you think, Virgin, I'm, I'm too bad. I need somebody's help. I, I can't help anybody. But irrespective of how low your situation might be, it, you don't allow it to bring you down. Uh, I wonder who I'm talking to this, my Lord. Give me a word of knowledge here, Lord, and a word of wisdom so I can speak, Lord. I said, if you ever come to the place where there is no joy and the way you can tell that there is joy is that there is still a willingness to press there is still a willingness to press there is still a willingness to forget those things that are behind or even those things that are around you and you're going to press towards you don't give up your press you don't lose your press you don't lose your pity you don't lose your passion if anything all the problems and the adversity is stirring up more glory be to God is adding to it's adding to it's adding to it's not taking from it's not taking from this is all you can tell that joy that willingness that right motive that is all you tell glory be to God if you have sufficiently given yourself I wonder who I'm talking today I know I'm talking to myself today so how is it with you are you at the place where there's no joy because you see your joy should be the Lord not your Lord not even the daily Lord of blessing that he gives that's not the source of your joy. It's the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. And again I say rejoice. Hallelujah. So have you given yourself to that level? Is there that still that joy? Is there still that willingness that you, you are eager to serve? Is there that eagerness to serve? Hallelujah. Even when you could well use some service yourself. Glory be God. But you understand that it's as you serve that you are served. I said, you understand the dynamics in the kingdom that it as you serve that you are served. Jesus himself said, I did not come to be served, but to serve. That's true greatness in the kingdom, God said. is when you serve, you make yourself a servant, irrespective of your situation and your circumstance. I'm going to break there. Hallelujah. And I'm going to come back one more time. Father, oh, I worship you, God. I worship you. I worship you, King of the universe. You are most high God, our Father in heaven holy you are and holy you will be help us god to examine ourselves in the light of this word 
to see if indeed we have given ourselves first to you and help us so to do father i give you all the honor glory and praise in jesus mighty name amen